Nebraska floods have broken records in 17 places across the state. The flooding in Nebraska has gotten so bad it's breaking records across the state. About 9 million people in 14 states along the Mississippi and Missouri rivers are under a flood warning, according to CNN meteorologist Karen McGuinness. Some of the records go as far back as 1960 and some are as recent as 2011, according to a press release from the Nebraska Emergency Management Agency, or NEMA. The majority of the, the Platte River in Louisville is expected to crest Sunday at 14.3 feet, breaking its 1960 record by 1.9 feet, NEMA said. The Elkhorn River, much of the major flooding, is expected to continue through next weekend, NEMA said. The Elkhorn River, the continued flooding comes from the aftermath of the bomb. CNN meteorologist Robert Shackelford said the water left by the bomb cyclone goes into streams and then rivers, causing the cresting and flooding. Just Shackelford and McGuinness said flood risks will be high throughout the week in the Midwest and that river crests won't stop until the weekend. The National Weather Service in Omaha issued a flash flood warning for localities along the Nebraska-Iowa border. Hundreds of people have been rescued, Nima said. The American Red, two deaths have been attributed to the flooding. James Wilk, a Columbus farmer, died while trying to help emergency responders. Jody L. Hef, James. A second Nebraska man died at a hospital in Lincoln after being caught in floodwaters across the state line in Iowa, according to the Fremont County, Iowa, Sheriff's Office. The victim, all three were rescued Gallon and another man were found hanging. The car carrying the men had driven around a road-closed barrier then hit floodwaters, the sheriff's office said. Search for location slash city. Hot, 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 hot,